For today's video, I'm super excited because we're going to talk about one of my favorite brands, and that is Amouage. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. On YouTube, I make videos mainly about fragrance with some beauty, luxury, and lifestyle thrown in. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, in today's video, we'll be talking about fragrances from the House of Amouage. Now Amouage has a pretty extensive collection. I do not own all of them, but I do have nine fragrances that I'm gonna share with you today. Three of the fragrances that I'll be sharing with you are actually a little bit of a haul. They are new to my collection. I've had them less than two weeks. So those will be a haul. And then the rest of the fragrances in my collection, I will talk about and I will rank them in order from my least favorite to my most favorite. Before we get into the actual fragrances, let me give you a tiny bit of background on Amouage. Amouage is a fragrance brand out of Oman, so from the Middle East, and a lot of their fragrances reflect that heritage. So they are complex, they are deep, they are interesting, but it's a brand that I happen to love. I will say though, if I'm ever recommending Amouage to somebody, Typically, I do not suggest that you blind buy them because like I said, most of them are complex. There's a couple that may be slightly safe for a blind buy that we'll talk about when we get into the fragrances. But overall, they are complex. I do suggest that you test all of these on skin. I feel like most of them smell quite different on paper versus skin. So these are ones that you kind of have to play with and get to know. These are not ones that I think you should go in the store, smell from the bottle, and then just walk away saying I hate it because you may really miss out on a fragrance that you love. All right, I'm off my Amouage soap dish, so let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So we're gonna start with the haul, and like I said, I purchased three fragrances. Two of these were from a boutique, and the third one was a blind buy. So we'll start with the two from the boutique. First up, we have to start with this one because right now, this one is popping all over Fragcom, so all over YouTube, Instagram, everybody seems to be loving it and I decided to add it to my collection. So this is none other than Amouage Guidance. So this fragrance is one that I was interested in when I saw that it came out, mainly because it was Amouage, to be completely honest. Anytime Amouage drops new fragrances, I'm interested, okay? But I'm not out here blind buying all of them because I'm telling you, <laughs> That's not a safe thing to do. And even though I'm a blind buy lover, I still don't blind buy most of my Amouage fragrances. Well, some of them. Anyway, I didn't blind buy this one because looking at the notes, I didn't think that it was gonna be the type of fragrance that I love. And then so many people have been hyping it. Now the person that hyped it the most for me is Sharita M. And I love her channel. If y'all are not following her, what are y'all doing? She's beautiful. She has an amazing fragrance collection. And I like that she likes different types of scents. She likes scents from like every type of bubble. And I love that. But anyway, Sharita M is the one that made me this close to blind buying it. <laughs> but I stuck to my guns. I knew that I may possibly get a chance to smell it in a boutique. So I waited till I got a chance to smell it and I ended up picking it up. So like I said, I didn't think this was safe blind buy for me because of the notes. And then because so many people were talking about it, I thought it was gonna be boring to be completely honest. Not just Sharita, but like so many people have been talking about it. I just figured that it was just super mass appealing and probably nothing that I would love. <laughs> That sounds very snobbish, but I'm just telling you all the truth. So anyway, let's spray this fragrance. I have worn this one, I think twice, but it's been about a week since I smelled it. So let's check it out. So this is a pretty girl or a pretty woman type of fragrance in my opinion. When I smell this, I get a floral note immediately. I'm not sure what type of floral. If I had to guess, it would be rose. I get a slight bit of fruitiness, but I wouldn't consider this a fruity fragrance per se. I just feel like the fruits are kind of sweetening up the florals in this and making it a little bit more playful. And then there is definitely some sort of green note to this fragrance. So when I tried this fragrance in store, I sprayed it on a tester, smelled it and thought, hmm, that's interesting. I didn't think, ooh, I like that, or ooh, I hate that. I said, hmm, 
That's interesting. Walked around, smelled some other stuff, smelled my tester card again, and was like, hmm, I think I'm really starting to like this. So I sprayed on my hand, and same thing, first spray, hmm, that's a little interesting, even though I will say it smelled better on skin. I just thought it was interesting because of this kind of herbal green note that's in the opening, and that was initially the first thing that I got when I smelled it. However, as I walked around with it on my hand, I could not stop smelling it, y'all. I Because as I'm trying other things, I just get, keep getting little whiffs of this fragrance. And it just starts to sweeten up. It becomes a little bit nutty, a little bit vanillic, but not going into that super gourmand category. I still would classify this as a floral scent, but it's a floral with elements of fruitiness, with a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of nuttiness. And then all of that is kind of like covered. This fragrance feels almost I don't want to say suppressed, but it feels very soft without being a skin scent. It's like a soft texture to this fragrance. I don't really know how to explain that, but hopefully y'all feel me. It's a very soft feminine fragrance and I have really been enjoying this. I am surprised that so many people like it to be completely honest because I don't think this is a safe blind buy. I don't think this is extremely mainstream, but people are loving it. So if you're interested, definitely try to get a sample or get your nose on this one, spray it on your skin and let me know what you think. So again, that is Amouage Guidance. The second fragrance is another one that I purchased from the boutique and this is Lineage. This is also from the newer collection from Amouage. And this is one that I smelled purely because of the bottle look at this bottle i don't know if it's coming across on camera but i actually like this bottle more than guidance although i am a pink girl this one just speaks to me i love this bottle anyway i only smelled it because of the bottle i didn't think i would like it because previous to going into the store i had looked up notes of this collection and i thought guidance was going to be the one that i liked the most Looking at the notes on this fragrance, I don't remember them now, but looking at the notes on this fragrance, I just didn't think that it would be anything special, but I tried it on a tester and as soon as I smelled it, I was impressed. <laughs> I was very shocked because I didn't expect to really like it, but I was impressed as soon as I smelled it. Now this one is a very fresh fragrance. To me, when I smell this, it smells fresh and slightly citrusy, but not overly so. It has a slight bit of an aromatic touch to it as well, but not super aromatic. Like when I think about aromatic notes and fragrances, I immediately think of lavender. This doesn't really smell like lavender to me, but it smells like something similar to that. I'm not sure what the notes are in this fragrance. So citrusy, aromatic, and then a very slight kind of salty feel to this fragrance as well. That's at the opening. As this fragrance dries down, I feel like it gets a little bit of sweetness. It doesn't turn into a sweet fragrance, but it's almost like some vanilla is in this fragrance, like a sweeter vanilla comes into this fragrance and then combines with all those other notes that I mentioned earlier. They Those notes stick around the whole time for me. It combines with those types of notes and it just turns into this beautiful fragrance that I think is gonna work out really well for hot weather. I've worn this one one time as well. It was a hot day. I loved it, y'all. But I think this is really going to shine as it gets super hot here because it just smells so fresh and clean without smelling like your basic citrus fragrance. Y'all have to smell this. Now, I know this is not gonna be for everybody, but I happen to love it. So again, that is Lineage from Amouage. I'm gonna try to stop saying from Amouage in this video because obviously all of these are from Amouage, but I can't help it, y'all. <laughs> so if I say it so many times, please forgive me, okay? This next fragrance was a blind buy and it's one that has been on my to smell list for years. So this fragrance is none other than Amouage Sunshine Man. Yes, I said man, okay? So this is marketed for men. Now I think that most of Amouage scents coming out, they don't really specify this for men or women, but the ones that are typically marketed towards men are in this shape bottle, whereas the ones that are typically marketed towards women are in this shape bottle. So like I said, this one has been on my to smell list for years. Recently, Amouage has started being carried in a local store of mine, but this is not one that they have. I was hoping to be able to smell this at the boutique, but again, this is not one that they have. So I guess, I don't know if it's 
not very popular. I hope they're not phasing it out, but it is still available at retailers online. I just don't know why I can't seem to find it in person. So went ahead and blind bought it. Like I said, I wanted to smell this for years ever since I heard the Eva Monroe talk about it. She compared this and Sunshine Woman and I really wanted to get my nose on it, but I didn't know if it was going to be a safe blind buy for me because I thought it may lean too masculine. So after I've said all that, I will say, when I got this in, I couldn't wait. Like I opened the box, sprayed it on the box, and it was like, hmm, this does smell pretty masculine. Came back, smelled it like five minutes later, and I was like, hmm, I think I'm liking this. Next day, sprayed it on my arm. I haven't worn this one full body, okay? Next day, I sprayed it on my arm and immediately fell in love, y'all, immediately. So this one, opens up again with a little bit of an herbal note but it's kind of like a soapy herbal note like a soapy herbal green note to it as this fragrance wears i feel like sweetness really starts to come out in this i'm gonna spray this on my hand because this is one that i feel like is very different very very different on paper than it is on skin so like i said you get those herbal green notes to it but then this sweetness starts to come in and it's almost like a floral sweetness i'm not sure what floral but then it starts to get like a slight bit smoky i don't know if smoky is the right word but it smells like a smoky sweetness with these aromatic tones to it this one is quite unique quite interesting but i have to say y'all when I sprayed this on my body, it was love. Like it just kept radiating off my arm. I only sprayed a little spray and throughout the day, it just kept radiating and I was loving it. So I'm very excited to play around with this one. I don't have that much experience with it because I, I haven't had a chance to wear it full body. I really think this one is going to be great for when I'm out and about doing things as opposed to sitting in a house. This doesn't smell like a sitting in the house type of fragrance to me. This smells more like I'm out in the sun, spring, summer, wind is blowing, sun is shining, and that type of fragrance. Like I could see myself wearing this out to lunch or if I'm gonna be outdoors like shopping or something like that, perfect for those types of things, but it's not like a sit in the house cozy type scent. It's very unique. Not a safe blind buy, but if you do like fragrances like Naxos from Zerzhov, you probably will like this. They're not the same at all, but I feel like it puts me kind of in that same mindset where it's a little masculine, but it's also a little bit sweet and just quite unique. So again, that is Sunshine Man. So those are the three new fragrances to me. I'm not going to include them in the ranking of all my other fragrances just because I don't have that much experience with them and I don't feel like I can really rank them fairly right now. But what I will do is, since these three were hauled, my first initial thoughts on all three of them, I will rank them from like my least favorite to my most favorite of this haul. But again, all of them are loves for me. So number three is Lineage. Number two is Guidance. And number one is Sunshine Man. So that's my ranking for now. Don't quote me on that, y'all. It could change as I wear these fragrances more and more. But just first thoughts on my haul, that's the order I'm going with. Now we're gonna get into the other six fragrances that I have in my collection. So in sixth place, I have Blossom Love. So this is the one in the pretty pink bottle that looks quite ladylike. And I feel like that tells the story of this fragrance. So this is a cherry blossom fragrance that to me is quite floral. It's a heavy floral, it's a very prominent floral. So if you love floral scents and you love cherry blossom, I really think this is one you should get your nose on because although it is a pretty feminine floral scent, it's quite present, it's quite out there. This would be one that I would count kind of as a beast mode type of floral. But with that being said, I don't feel like it's sharp and headache inducing, which happens to me with a lot of heavy florals. This is one that I don't feel is headache inducing, but it does have some heaviness to it. It has a bit of an almond note to it as well. I'm not sure if almond is a note in this fragrance, but it definitely has like an almond nutty type of core to it mixed with this beautiful floral and a slight bit of powderiness. Not super powdery, not like nausea inducing powder, but a slight bit of powderiness that just makes this feel very elegant. And again, not headache inducing in my opinion. So this is number six for me because it's just not my type of scent to be completely honest. I do think it's really pretty, but it's not something that I want to wear on a regular basis. But I don't wanna get rid of 
of it either. I like it enough that I want to keep it in my collection and wear it from time to time, but it's just not one that I'm going to reach for all the time just because I have to be in the mood to wear these type of floral fragrances. So again, that is Blossom Love. In fifth spot, we have Journey Woman. So this one is another interesting floral scent. This is definitely a more complex, unique floral scent. Um, I'm not even sure what the florals are in here, but whenever I smell this fragrance, <laughs> I immediately think of decaying flowers. <laughs> And that sounds horrible, but I actually really like this fragrance and I don't know what it is. I think it's because the floral smell like, like when I smell this, what I picture is like a deep dark rose, like those really deep roses and the sweetness that you get when it starts to go dead, but not when they're all dried up, but like when they're starting to go dead, how they're giving off that kind of heavy scent. That's what it smells like to me. I don't even know if Rose is a floral in here. I'm just telling y'all what it smells like to me and what I picture every single time I wear it. So yeah, it smells like that to me. It also has some spices in this fragrance, but the spices do not overtake this fragrance. To me, it's more of a sweet, spicy floral that has a good amount of presence. It lasts a long time. It's not sharp in any way. It's all very smooth edges. And it's in fifth place for me because again, it's another floral. Y'all know I'm not the biggest floral fan. So I kind of have to be in the mood to wear this one, but I do really enjoy it. I also think of this as more of a cold weather scent. And I think that's why I don't wear it as much because we don't get much cold y'all. So I have all these cold weather scents and they compete for time. And I just feel like this is one that I haven't used a lot like in the past year or so. I think I've had this one for about two years or so, but now that I'm smelling this, I kind of want to try it out on a warmer day and see how it goes because it's not overpowering as long as you don't overdo it with the sprays. If I spray like a normal person, I think I can get away with this now that I'm smelling it again. So I will definitely be trying it out. Hopefully it works for me in hot weather too and then I'll probably be able to get more use out of it. So again, that is Journey Woman. So I know I've been talking about the whole time how I'm not a big floral person. However, a lot of these Amouage fragrances are floral, but like I said, Amouage, they are super complex fragrances. So if you're not a floral lover like me, don't count Amouage out when you see all the floral notes in their fragrance. They do not smell like your typical floral. So just want to put that out there because I have another floral coming up in the fourth place and this is portrayal woman now i love this bottle i hope it's coming across well on camera but it's this beautiful iridescent bottle that has like shades of pink and purple maybe a little bit of blue in there it's absolutely stunning so this fragrance is all about the jasmine this is one that i heard people talk about a couple years ago and i wanted to smell it because it was on my watch but i honestly didn't think i was gonna like it because Jasmine is one of those florals that typically give me headaches. A lot of jasmines, especially like in designer fragrances, are quite sharp and I just can't handle them, y'all. They're too much for me. They give me a headache, can't wear them. The jasmine that's in this smells like actual natural jasmine. <laughs> so if you saw a plant with blooming jasmine on it, that's what this smells like. The jasmine that I have smelled like in person. That's what this fragrance smells like to me mixed with some tobacco, okay? The tobacco in here is quite smooth. It's not extremely spicy. It's more of just a kind of smoky scent. I have seen some people, I think on Fragrantica, say that this smells like old ashtrays to them. And although that sounds very bad, <laughs> I can kind of get what they're saying because it's that soft kind of smokiness that you can get from some tobacco. I don't think it smells like old ashtrays, but I can kind of get what they're saying and then mix in with this beautiful, very natural smelling jasmine. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This is the type of floral that I like. It's very feminine, it's very ladylike, but it has a punch to it. It has a complex nature to it. It's not boring to me. This is one that I think is perfect for year round because it performs really well, so it will be strong enough in the cold weather, but also if you wear it in the spring, as long as you don't go overboard with the sprays, I think this works really well in warmer weather as well, and I have tested that out. I have worn this spring, summer, no breeze, some breeze, humid, whatever, and it always just works when I wanna feel very pretty and feminine. So again, that is Portrayal Woman. In third place, we have Material. So this is the one that I would say is probably the most mass appealing out of all the ones I'm gonna talk about today because it's a vanilla scent. Now, 
I say it's a vanilla scent, but it is not a boring vanilla, y'all. This is not a gourmand vanilla. It is a little bit sweet, but it's not a gourmand, like cupcakey vanilla. So vanilla is the main note that I smell in this fragrance, but you have all these beautiful resinous features to it as well. It also has frankincense in it that gives it this very exotic feel. I love this. I cannot get enough of this. This is one that I wore a ton during the late fall and early winter because there's just something quite addictive about this. Now that I'm smelling it now, I wanna wear it again. It also kind of has this slightly fizzy type nature to it. It's not a fizzy scent, but if you have smelled Hypnotic Poison from Dior or Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac, Tiziana Terenzi Lintz, all of those to me have that same kind of fizzy, nutty nature to it. This one has that too, a little bit, but that doesn't take over the scent at all. I don't think this fragrance smells like those fragrances that I just mentioned, but I would kind of put them in the same category. Like they live in the same neighborhood and this is absolutely stunning, y'all. I feel like if you like vanilla, this is a relatively safe blind buy. Although it is a complex vanilla, it's not a boring vanilla. I still think that at the end of the day, it's a vanilla and most people seem to love vanilla, so. Yeah, I just feel like who, who wouldn't like this as I smell this? Who wouldn't like this? And it projects pretty well and lasts a super long time. So, I mean, you just can't go wrong. Love this one. I cannot stop smelling this paper, y'all. <laughs> so again, that is material. In second place, we have Overture Woman. This bottle again, I mean, come on, y'all. Come on, this is perfection. I love all the Amouage bottles, so it's hard for me to pick a favorite, but I think this is my favorite color. I think so. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Beautiful rose gold, frosted glass. I mean, come on. This is amazing smelling. That's why it's number two for me, y'all. Amazing. So this is my boozy Amouage. This one is deep and boozy. It smells like there's some dark fruit in here, like possibly plum or dried fruits. A little bit of spice to it, like possibly nutmeg. That's what it smells like to me anyway. And then there's also a leathery touch to this fragrance as well. Now, sometimes the leather comes out on me more and sometimes it comes out on me less. However, I will say if you are not a fan of leather, still give this one a try on your skin because like I said, sometimes it comes out on me more, sometimes it comes out less, but overall it is a very kind of tame leather. So if you like something like La Capitale from Zerjoff, I feel like the leather in that fragrance and the leather in this fragrance are quite similar and quite easy going. They're not like stand out, super masculine leather scents in my opinion. This is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. This is sexy. This is date night. You could wear this cold weather during the day, but I will say for me, this says date night. This says I am here. I am irresistible. I am smelling incredible. This, it gives me all of that. This fragrance is not super projecting. It is decently projecting. It's not like a skin scent, but I think for the type of fragrance it is, I like that it's kind of more of a moderate projection because if this was super beast mode, I think it would be offensive, not only to others, but to me. Like it will be too much. <laughs> this would be a two spray thing if this was super beast mode. So this one is moderate projecting, but it's very long lasting. It's definitely present. I remember one time I wore this to work just cause I really wanted to wear it compliments all day long, but it wasn't overpowering at all. I just felt like it was a little bit too sexy for work, but hey, I wanted to wear it, so that's what I did. This is it's so good, y'all. It's sweet and boozy and love it. I forgot to mention it earlier, earlier but the booziness in this kind of smells apple-ish. It doesn't smell like Killian Angel Share. Like, it doesn't smell that apple pie type smell, but it definitely smells like a bit of a fresh apple scent in here as well. It's gorgeous. Definitely, if you like boozy scents, you definitely need to try this. I don't think it's a safe blind buy, but I will say that if you are a big boozy fragrance lover, I don't see how you couldn't like this one. So again, that is Overture Woman. By the way, I've also smelled Overture Man and I love it. <laughs> I've never worn that one. I just smelled it in the store when I got this one, but I love that one as well. And I hope to be able to smell it again. It may be on my wish list either for my husband or for myself. 
um, when it gets cold again. And in the number one spot, I'm sure if you watch my channel, you probably already know this. Hint, hint, this is in the intro to every single one of my videos. This is none other than Sunshine Woman. I love this bottle. It just makes me happy to look at. I love yellow. And this one, I feel like always looks better in person than it does on camera. Even though it's pretty on camera, I feel like in person, it just, it's just like a little ray of sunshine, y'all. Love it. Oh, so good. So this one smells like apricots with a little bit of booziness and a little bit of smokiness to them. Apricots are not a note in this fragrance. The note that I think I'm getting those vibes from is actually Osmanthus, which sometimes can smell like apricot. So Osmanthus is a floral note, but to me, it definitely smells like apricots. I think a lot of people say that too, not just me. The apricot scent smells slightly kind of boozy, syrupy. I wouldn't call this a boozy scent, but there is like a touch of like a boozy, syrupy nature to this. And then there's this beautiful white tobacco that I think really makes this fragrance stand out because it's such a different smelling tobacco type scent. Like you could smell the tobacco and you probably will be able to point it out as tobacco, but it doesn't smell like typical tobacco in my opinion. It's sweet and a little subdued and it just has this very different smell to it. This also has some almond type vibes in it. I'm not sure if almond is the note, but it does have some like almondy touches. I wouldn't call this an almond scent. I just think everything just flows so well together in this fragrance. I love this one, y'all. Like I am so glad that I purchased this. This is my very first Alma Wash. It was a blind buy and it's absolutely a love for me. Obviously, it's number one. It's in my intro. This is one of my top 10 fragrances in my collection and it just makes me smile every single time I wear it. Like it honestly does. I don't wear it a ton anymore because I don't want to ruin the memories of it. I don't want this to be an everyday scent for me. I want this to be a happy occasion scent for me. So. Yeah, although I don't wear it a ton anymore, I have worn it quite a bit. I have probably a look, just a little bit more than half left in the bottle, but it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this, and I cannot imagine having a fragrance collection without this in it at this point. So, sunshine woman. So that was my entire Amouage collection. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these fragrances or if you've tried anything from Amouage. I know a lot of people don't like Amouage as a brand. They just don't understand them and I get it. But I would say that if any of the ones I talked about sounded interesting to you, definitely get a sample, try them out for yourself. Just because your favorite influencer doesn't like them doesn't mean you won't. And vice versa, just because I love these fragrances doesn't mean that you will, but I hope this video helped you all for those of you who may be thinking about trying Amouage or who just want to know more information or want to know which ones were my favorite. Hopefully this video was helpful for you all. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I typically upload videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Friday. So I have tons of content that you can check out in your free time. Also head over to my blog. It's www.simplyaisha.com. Check out my posts and get on my email list over there so we can further connect. Lastly, follow me on Instagram. I'm always in my stories and my DMs and I love to chit chat with you guys. And it's just a very laid back setting over there for me. So check me out on Instagram as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.